I like to add the color bath drops by Corolla to Mason's baths. It makes it more fun and enjoyable for him. And since we are gonna be washing his hair, he's gonna be in the tub a bit longer. I also purchased the Corolla uh, markers and crayons that he can use on the tub. And they wash off really easy with just like soap and water. So they're not gonna stain the tub or the walls. Um, just make sure that they don't write on like normal walls, only shower slash bath walls and he absolutely loves them. And to shampoo his hair, I'm gonna use the Mango and Carrots Extra Nourishing Shampoo by Shea Moisture. I also um, use the Myel Organics Kids line, but I like to go back and forth between that and the Shea Moisture one, just so that his hair doesn't get used to one product. So I might use one product for a month and then switch to the other and so on. I also don't always shampoo his hair, just like with my curly hair. Sometimes I just co-wash with like a conditioner, but he needed a shampoo this time. And now to rinse the shampoo out, I purchased these two little gadgets off of Amazon and they work so well. It helps it so that I can just rinse, but he doesn't get any of the shampoo in his eyes, even though they're both whether it's the Shea Moisture or the Myel Organics line, they're both kid friendly, so it doesn't sting or anything. It's just an annoyance, of course, to have water in your eye, and he doesn't like it. So this allows me to, again, get a really good rinse, but without the water dripping down onto his face and into his eyes. To conditioner, um, to condition, I'm gonna use the same line by Shea Moisture, the Mango and Carrots Extra Nourishing Kids line, and I'm gonna use a generous, um, amount of conditioner just again as I would in my own hair just we have we're a family with a lot of hair and Mason has a lot of hair and his hair can get on the drier side so I definitely want to use a good amount of conditioner in there and also the conditioner makes it a lot easy when it's time a lot easier when it's time for me to detangle his hair To detangle, I'm going to use a wet brush. It's just um, it's similar to the Denman brush, but just a smaller version. And I have like several of these around the house. Um, I also use them in my infant's hair. And I'll do a separate curly hair routine for him because him and Mason have two different curl types. But I love this brush. It glides through both of their hair very easily once I add the conditioner or detangling spray, whichever I'm doing for that day. Um, and it looks like I'm a little forceful but I promise I'm not it's very gentle so that it doesn't tug and pull at his curls and mess up the natural curl pattern but at the same time it gives me the detangling that I need in order to move on to the styling portion of the routine And then once again, I'm gonna use those same little gadgets I got from Amazon, which will be linked below, to rinse out the conditioner. Okay, so I go ahead and I add his, put his pajamas on, lotion him up. And then I style his hair. So by this point, his hair has dried a little bit. So I just like to respray it with some water. And now I'm spraying it with the Shea Moisture um, Coconut Leave In Spray. I don't know why I didn't show you guys this. But um, this isn't from a kid's line. This is just their, one of their regular lines. And I use this on both my hair, Mason's hair, and Caleb's hair. And I love it. It um, again, I just spray that on after I re wet his hair. And then I go back in with that wet brush to again just finalize the detangling process but most of the tangles are out by this point and for a styling um product I'm going to use this is also from the Shea Moisture Mango and Carrots Extra Nourishing line it's their curling smoothie I believe um, I don't know why I didn't show you guys this sorry but I just distribute that throughout his entire head making sure that it hits every strand 
and then I comb it through with that same wet brush that I've been using since the washing portion. And then I part his hair on whichever side I desire and then kind of just fluff out his curls and do like a little scrunch. Again, just as I would with my own hair. Um, but I do allow his hair to air dry. I don't use a diffuser or anything. Brush down those baby hairs and then we are good to go. Thanks for watching.